Okay, so uh, welcome César, or César, how do you say it in, in Portuguese? César. César, uh, to the Teddy Awards and the, to the Berlinale. You brought a very uh, unconventional documentary, maybe one could say, to, to this festival, in which you are presenting the, the life and the personality of your uncle, who was a very well-known, famous artist in Brazil. And um, his name is Helio. And um, at first I would like to know why you actually chose to make a film about your own uncle and what inspired you to do that. Yeah, in truth, like the film came to me, you know, like uh, because I was making a research for an exhibition and I found some Super 8 films of him mm -hmm. that had not been shown before. And when I saw those movies, I realized that it was like uh, put the audience into the eye of the artist. Mm -hmm. So immediately I felt it was very powerful. Mm -hmm in a way because he was working too with like uh, the, the super 8 as like time capsules mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you have parts you know of his life or you know of life of New York and New York scene mm -hmm. at that period mm -hmm. so this is a great material and you're gonna show too with Max Hinderer mm -hmm. in, uh, in the talk Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what, what material did you come across first? Do you remember? Like what was it like uh, interviews he was given or like what, what, what strike you at the first time when you saw this material? Yeah, and I and know at, at the same time I knew already the tapes, you know, the okay. Ilio tapes. Okay. So, and of course, immediately I think the, the, these films with the tapes should be, you know, great because at the same time in the eye and you are hearing the, you are in the head because of the thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I felt the, this, is, this was that I had starting a film mm -hmm. and it was 10 years ago mm -hmm. and 
And of course, after we had to plan the film and make a big research, which was a great adventure because we found some very nice and uh, unreleased stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of, how would you describe the personality of your uncle? What kind of uh, human being, really, like in the literal sense, what kind of human being was he? You know, like walking on this planet. Like, he oh. was wild man, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and very. Is as you can feel it into the film, I think, because that's the that is so fast mm. because he was very intense. Mm -hmm. You know, in the work, in the life, mm -hmm. everything was what, what put made to the it highest so level of intensity. Okay. Okay. So. That's why he started to put the art, the life into the art, you know? Mm. Mm. Because uh, he had this thing he named it Ambulatorium Delirium, mm. <laughs> which, which was uh, walking through the, the city, mm -hmm. in the streets, in some areas of mm. Rio, mm -hmm. marginal areas, areas mm. that you have uh, red light zone, mm -hmm. you know, and and people from the slums too. He mm -hmm. used to go to Mangueira, mm -hmm. and all this, you know, walking through this place for him was a kind of work at the same time, where mm -hmm. he can found things and have ideas. Mm -hmm. So the life for him was a work of art. Work of art. And then you decided to you know, compose all this archive footage you found and not put, you know, extra commentary or like audio commentary on it, but just leave it for itself as a work itself. So why, why did you decide that? Why didn't you want to put any, you know, your commentary on it or people that knew him, you know, interview him from a present perspective? Like, why did you... Yeah, first, I don't like very much those documentaries with uh, too many interviews. From now, when you are talking from that, it's not that I'm, you know, uh, don't like all those documentaries, mm. but I think I should be more experimental. And at the same time, the material was so huge, the tapes, that I can make another movie, you know? Like <laughs> the second make, part of it. <laughs> yeah, I will not make it, of course, but I have material if I want. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was the first question if I had the material, because the tapes was, you know, bad, because old, and we had to work on the studios to, to get it better. But, uh, so just in the middle, I, I feel that I, I had the, really, the a good stuff that I can use, and people understand, mm. and so, it was very nice to, to found, all those things, you know, mm -hmm. mainly the images, because mm -hmm. we, we found great stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what kind of status does your uncle have in Brazil? This, you know, sorry? What kind of status or like what kind of um, reputation does he have in Brazil today, your uncle? Today? Yes, is oh, he still okay. very much a part of the discussion or like is he... Yeah, I think in uh, all around the world mainly. Uh, I think in Brazil we still have a a way to to reach you know the cultural level in mm -hmm. some sense you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. I mean for art for his art you know mm -hmm. uh, that's why being the Berlinale is so nice because having this thing of multi platform mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was something that he was working four years ago mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. but the reputation now is very big mm -hmm. like. He is known, but not really the work, because uh, you cannot travel Brazil with exhibitions okay. in all the states of Brazil. So the exhibition goes more to Rio and Sao Paulo, mm. maybe uh, Belo Horizonte sometimes, mm. but not too much, mm -hmm. and sometimes to the south, but not pretty much too, so it's very difficult. It's very okay. okay. So you say, more the, his person is more famous than his art like what would people like it no no the people know more the name but no no sometimes people know the name and no no even he's an artist you he's know an, he, okay. he thinks he's, he's a writer 
or okay. something like that, which is good in okay. some sense because he's not just artist, like he was an artist okay. in a whole sense of it. Okay. He writes and having these tapes and having okay. all thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. So sometimes he was a writer too, but not mainly. So why, so what do you think, what part did, did drugs and sexuality play in his life? Oh, it's a strong part, I think, yeah. And people always try to put by side, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, in the New York period mainly, where, where and when he was more in the drugs and mm -hmm. like, that's why I like to bring the Cosmococca, which mm -hmm. is he, this work that is in, in the other, mm -hmm. in the four expanded, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because now it's complete 40 years. And, you know, in Brazil now we have in uh, Inhotim, which is a great center, mm -hmm. five, the original five one, permanently mm -hmm. there, which mm -hmm. is great. That's great, that's great, yeah. That's great. But uh, to bring it in the film festival, you know, is something that never happened before. So we're just starting a new road for the work. Mm -hmm. which is incredible. You can see the work still now is very up, up to date, you know, mm -hmm. so... Mm -hmm. So what, what do you wish his work to develop into? Like, what do you wish for his work to happen in the future? What's your, what's your dream? Uh, we're doing an exhibition now, too, that will come to Frankfurt in October. Mm -hmm. That's Elio that, Sika, the museum is the world. Mm -hmm. So you have the works that is outside, mm -hmm. not just inside museums. Mm -hmm. So we spread the works through the city. I would like very much to bring it to Berlin, but it's very difficult to go to Frankfurt and then come here. So yeah. I'm no, you trying, can make but you can make yeah, I'm trying. But I'm I'm thinking for here maybe do a, an exhibition only of the prepositions because it has this thing, mm -hmm. that preposition, like the Cosmococcus 6 we mounted here in hamburg Bahnhof, is a preposition. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's an idea you have, or like a... Uh, he had that idea and sent a letter for his friend to do the work. So he has five original with Neville Dalmeida, this mm -hmm. great filmmaker, Brazilian mm -hmm. filmmaker, mm -hmm. and four prepositions for other people. Mm -hmm. So it's completely uh, the destruction of the object, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just the idea I give to you, you make it. Oh, so okay. you can make okay. your own Cosmocock. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> or, or the, you know, there's a so. proposition called Call Me Helium. Mm -hmm. And it's a balloon mm -hmm. that's reading Call Me Helium, which is a Jimi Hendrix quotation and uh, it was to be made at Rio uh, in the pier mm -hmm. uh, at that time we don't mm -hmm. have the pier anymore mm -hmm. but yeah, it's funny because where it was the pier now it's the gay part of the beach you know oh, okay. so you, you have this uh, balloon and go call me helium and one guy came but it's not him it's another guy who wants to make it and with the t-shirt reading, I am Helio H. Sika. And he start to, to say a lot of big script, a lot of words and poetry, and with sounds, you oh know, Jimi Hendrix. So this is preposition. And making one exhibition just with it, I think it's at some place that we did not go yet. And I think it's yeah, very, we, we go. okay. it's very good to make okay. it. You know? mm -hmm. It's something that have to be done. Okay. So, how do you think, like, how do you think your the the, the question of sexu sexuality was important for your uncle, also in his artwork and expressing it, you know, very openly and unashamed and stuff. Yeah, he you, was always unashamed, so, uh, and he has uh, several works that is related to it. Mm -hmm. Like Neiroticas, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. are the guys from New York that mm -hmm. he knew and he liked, he think they are sexy, mm -hmm. and so it's like a slight projection, mm -hmm. and with uh, radio mm -hmm. on the background, 
and he is uh, reading humble. Okay, okay. You know? So this is one of the works. So I have the film that's in my film, Teresa Jordão, mm -hmm. that I think is the you know, climax mm -hmm. of the, the film. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's never been shown before. It will be world premiered in the Max Star. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, and have another words like, but all this part of New York, he goes more to it. You know? To sexuality and drugs. Yes. And, mm -hmm. How did your fam like? What kind of position does he have in your family? Your uncle Legua is is it is he still alive there? Do you talk about him? Is he you know what I mean? Oh like yeah, a, a lot. What what is? And he he is incredible this thing about because our family is a, a other kind of Brazilian family because my grand grandfather he was an anarchist leader in Brazil and so it's incredible because Ilo it was always gay since from he was a child you can <laughs> s mm -hmm. the, my father always talk about this he always knew but it. at the same time he was the one that ruled the family you know like uh, he because he had a very strong personality so out in the, who was the oldest son mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so once my grandmother was sick and uh, my grandfather had to go to the hospital to stay there for mm -hmm. one month or something mm -hmm. like that and stayed only the the children the the boys but three brothers with the maid and Ilio inverted the day so they stay awake during the night, you know, <laughs> oh, really? slept in the day, yeah. <laughs> and you know, the, the maid got crazy because she needs to put the, the, the lunch uh, midnight. Okay. <laughs> midnight. So you invert time completely. Yeah. Okay, wow. So it is very curious in my family, like, they still this, talk about the, it this relation, you know, mm -hmm. and even now when I did the film, oh, but you were from the family and put uh, a thing. Uh, yeah, I'm from the family, but my family is different, you know. It's but still very different. It's very, uh, it's much more, you know, uh, closer than here, probably. I don't know this, this question, you know. Family? Yeah, or and homosexuality in family, you know. Mm -hmm. how, was, how was that a topic in the family, in your family? Was it ever a problem? It's very normal, it? yeah, very normal, you know which is great like that's why when i i made the film i had no fears or anything yeah, no you no know, censor mm -hmm. nothing like and i i only showed for my father mm -hmm. after it was finished so mm -hmm. i have no way to go back to because it was finalized already so what did you, so you showed it to how did what does your family think about it they love it they the film, yeah. they okay. my father cried I think you, your family should be very proud to have such a, you know, member. Um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We work for him yes, all, all yeah. this time. Like I'm curator for his work in now 15 years. Wow. So, but you, have you ever met him? Have yeah. You, but you were probably. Really but for my memory, is not so, not so much so. because uh, I, I used to say he know me better because he know me from when I was a child mm -hmm. but I don't remember and okay. after he went to New York and he came back he died very fast so that, yeah. and I was living in Manaus at that time so it was just two trips yeah. Yeah. how old was he when he when he went to New York went to New York he was uh, 30 I think yeah, 30, 30, 37 so and then he came back and, and, and immediately, like, short after he, he passed away? After yeah, he came back two away. years, two years after he came back, go, went back to Brazil, he died. So... And now you have the great honor to continue his work and to bring it to Europe, to Berlin, and to a great audience, right? Yeah, I'm very happy to present his work. And, and I think the film will, the, will be the really presentation of him uh, mainly to Brazil, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because Brazil don't know his 
No, no. Now they will. But the yeah, they yeah. Will. Good luck. I wish you all <laughs> the best. Hope so, because yeah. still looking for distribution <laughs> in Brazil is <laughs> difficult. But this is a good place to look out for it. Yeah, Facebook. but we're gonna make a good work. Yeah. Yes. I hope. I wish you all the best. Good luck for everything. Thank you. Thank you so See, much. Thank you so much. Yeah.